Good morning, everybody. It's a daily quiz, episode six. OSHD prep domain three confined space. And I'm John Newquist, and let's get into our three questions. Worker climbs into a sewer man hole to retrieve a dropped wrench without atmospheric testing or permit. Minutes later, they collapse. What was the critical failure? A. A lack of retrieval line. B. Failure to test and control the atmospheric hazards before entry. C. Not wearing gloves. D. Improper confined space signage. And the answer is failure to test and control the atmosphere hazards before entry. The meter, the four gas meter, is your insurance policy. It has saved thousands of lives by just testing it and finding out. If you go in and you find out it's 18% oxygen, the minimum is 19.5. You actually have to know these numbers on the test, too. So that would be an issue you'd have to you know, say, okay, we need ventilation until we get it in a safe zone. 20.9 is what I always like to see, not 20.1. During cleaning inside a large tank, air monitoring shows oxygen levels dropping from 20.8 or 20.9 to 19.0. Ventilation ducts are placed near the top opening. What should the safety professional do? Continue work since the oxygen level is above 19.5. Add another worker to monitor the tank. C. Reposition ventilation to push fresh air from the bottom and exhaust from the top. D. Wait an hour before retesting. This is a tough question. You want to put the ventilation to the entrance. Push it from the bottom and it pushes it out the top or exhausts out the top. I always want to feel fresh air coming in. Because if my meter goes off and I'm getting fresh air, there's something out there. And I can literally carry the hose in my face and get out. But we always want to make sure the entrant has some fresh air. If you blow it at the top, maybe you're just pushing the air. And if it comes downstream or it's at the bottom, it's not really doing anything. It, it, it does, you're not really changing the air, per se. Contractor plans to enter a storm drain to install piping. They have gas monitors and harnesses, but no rescue plan. What must the safety professional do before entering? A. Allow entry if the monitor reads safe levels. B. Require written rescue plan and train standby attendants before entry. C. Have the entrant carry a phone for emergencies. D. Post a warning sign near the drain. I'll always call this kind of like two good answers. The answer we're looking for is B. A written rescue plan and train safe standby attendants before entry. Storm drains are usually horizontal like this. They're square, they're circular. Uh, could be you could walk into them, you know. So it's... Uh, very awkward if it's like four feet high because you know, you're going to find out you don't like to bend and you got to wear helmets but the 1910 146 standard which is confined space says non-entry rescue capability and trained attendant before entry monitor alone does not provide a protection 911 by osha is not a rescue plan okay we'll see you tomorrow take it easy and i will have a new quiz then